Sunday alcohol sales, cold beer, warm beer. These are just some of the issues that the Alcohol Code Revisions Commission is considering tonight. And tonight, our political reporter, Kevin Rader, has more now on that debate live from the Circle in downtown Indy. Kevin? Yeah, John and Andrea, two of the three sides in the ongoing Sunday sales debate have crafted out a deal that kind of squeezed out convenience stores. So today, the state at the state house got a chance to weigh in on that deal. It is hard to believe that what takes place will ultimately be decided here. You want Sunday sales? That's decided here. You want to be able to buy cold beer wherever you shop? That's decided here. They've all flip-flopped. You know, that's why I call it the, the corrupt bargain. You know, they're one way one day, and then the next day they're the other way. You know, the consumers in the state of Indiana want to be able to buy cold beer any place where there's a license, and they want Sunday sales. But the beverage retailers, or the liquor store lobby, and the Indiana Retail Council, or the big box stores, cut a deal to repeal prohibition on Sunday alcohol sales. It's not a smokescreen. It's not a diversion. It's something that now it's its time, and cold beer is something that I hope never occurs. The liquor store lobby is arguing allowing competitors to sell cold beer will increase underage drinking. Consumers want to have cold beer, and they want to have Sunday sales. The liquor lobby is doing everything they possibly can to keep cold beer in the monopoly that it is with them right now. State Senator Phil Boots just wants to see everyone playing by the same rules. I love the playing field. I want Sunday sales. I want cold beer. And I want everybody to be responsible in their, in their sale. The Senate chamber is full of lobbyists representing one side or the other, but Boots says one thing is missing. Joe Sixpack, if that's what you want to call him, uh, needs to have a voice. The individual that is actually going to the package store or the convenience store or the bar is not well represented in this commission. No vote on this today at the State House. There was a show of support by hands, but no official vote. So how does Joe Sixpack feel about being left out on all this? We'll take that to the streets for you on Eyewitness News at 6. John and Andrea? All right, All right. thank you. It's kind of ironic yeah. we're talking about six-packs. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what Joe's six-pack thinks. We know the streets are talking. Yeah.